Today we'll be replacing a fan in the pre-unibody MacBook Pro. This is a 15 inch size and this is meant to be a supplement to my other guide. First you'll need a T6 Torx bit. We'll remove the screw holding down the LVDS cable that connects to the LCD. You need to pry it up from the adhesive and that is taping it to the fan. We also be very careful, these wires are fairly delicate. And here we're going to be disconnecting the fan power and also the ambient light sensor cable. There's also a screw on the right side of the fan. Remove another T6 Torx screw at the bottom of the fan. Pry up on the Kapton tape holding the bottom of the fan down. For this I'm going to remove the hard drive connector. Gently pry it up. The fan is adhered to the heatsink at the front. There is black tape. Make sure you get all the wires out of the way. To do this, I just simply tilt it up and then I angle it and peel it from the black adhesive and it comes right out. At this point, you can use a fan blower to blow it. I blew it after I kind of put it together after I made this video because I kind of forgot. But uh, you want to blow it out get all the dust bunnies out of the way. Compare the fan and the old one. Make sure you don't pinch any wires while you're putting the fan back in. After you seat it in, go ahead and re-adhere the top of the fan to the plastic. Start by replacing the screws back. Replace the Kapton tape at the bottom, along with the hard drive cable. Fold the LVDS cable back and re-adhere it to the black tape. Slide this in from the left gently, using your black stick to help. Don't force it in if you, don't have, a, if you have a problem getting it in. Uh, pull it back out and then reattempt to reinsert it. It shouldn't take too much force really at all. Once it's seated in, go ahead and smooth the cable down to the black tape. Use the T6 screw to hold the LVDS cable bracket to the fan. Plug in the fan connector. You just simply need to push it down. Make sure it's completely flat or it won't be fully connected or flush with the socket. I kind of see that it's angled a little bit so I use the black stick to pull it up and reseat it again. This again shouldn't require too much force either. Go ahead and plug the ambient sensor cable back in. This is the same way, you push it down from the top and it sits flat. It's also slightly adhesive at the bottom, 
make sure that's all stuck together. We'll be testing the fan out uh, with the top case up. So go ahead and plug the top case in. Plug in the MagSafe connector and then hit the power button. We're, we're only gonna be turning it on briefly. So once we verify that it spins, go ahead and power it off. And then the finishing touch is replacing the capped on tape over the connectors. See my other guide to reinstall the top case and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.